Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate formatting of your thesis. If you are a PhD student, at any stage of your work, this video is for you. The knowledge you get in this video will save months of hard labor, will save agony of burning tons of oil in night, getting the thesis done as per prescribed format. Many a times you relax with feeling that your thesis is ready. Then suddenly your mentor or your colleague or proofreader ask you to add or omit some text, some citation, some section. You have to revise all the numberings, table of content, the page numbers in table of contents, citations in the text citation. You will continue to get nightmares after months of years, after your submission because of this uh, very laborious, very boring process. I have seen people getting depressed or some have even left pursuing their degree to avoid this agony. Is it really that bad? Yes. If you are using Word with manual citation process, it's really bad. If you are using reference manager with Word, then not that much bad. But if you are using high throughput engine like LaTeX, this will be a one or two hours work before starting to write your thesis. Here, I have prepared template for University of Mumbai. But if you give me your specifications for thesis format, I will prepare template for you also. Then, go on writing and get it formatted by LaTeX. Let's start. Learning LaTeX is not difficult at all. Just 20 minutes of passionate, focused learning and you will be driving on relatively less difficult roads. And with practice of few days, you will be ready to pilot a LaTeX flight. You can watch my videos. Link is given in description. Or you can join workshops conducted by me as a resource person to learn LaTeX. Few hours of learning will save you months of labor. In LaTeX, we format before writing the document. LaTeX document starts with document class. As per required specification of Mumbai University, here we have specified that the document is on A4 paper, one-sided and base font size is 12 points. These are some of the required packages. We will learn those while learning LaTeX. Packet set space is required to set line spacing to one and half. As per top margin, bottom, left and right margins, Distance of body text from footer and height of header is specified here in arguments of package geometry. This is the package which controls most of the page layout in LaTeX. Text width and text height command specify height and width of the body text. All these values are as per the specification provided by the University of Mumbai for thesis. Paragraph indent is specified by 12 mm and distance between two paragraphs is specified by Parindent arguments. Set length command is used to set these two values. Let's see effect of these specifications. The line spacing you can see is uh, one half as we specified here, and the parindent is 12 mm as we specified here. The distance between two paragraphs is specified by par skip that is 7 mm as specified by this line, and the margins left margin right margin, top margin and bottom margin are specified as per these commands. The distance between uh, body text and footer is specified by the foot skip command and distance between body text and header is specified by the head height command. And these two lines have given us text length and the text width. The other major component of page layout is header and footer and these are governed by these commands. Header is produced by the package fancy header and page style fancy defines these two headers and uh, these headers specifications uh, what shall be on the left side what shall be on the right side what shall be on the center and here also at the bottom uh, on the footer what shall be there here we have kept the page number at the center section and chapter headings at the uh, header as per specification provided by the university document these two commands, bibliography style and use package, number, sort and complex that package NatBib, these two commands specify how 
the citations will be numbered in inline citation as well as in reference list and this command renew command bib name reference this will change the uh, title which is uh, bibliography that title will be changed to references this is how we see the inline citation and this is the reference list which is populated and formatted as per our requirement and now we have completed the formatting part and that formatting part we have specified before the begin document and this is called as preamble and within this begin document and its counterpart end document our document is written and as this is, is a very long document to handle it uh, efficiently I have broken that into different files one file is front cover other file is title page then dedication then certifications both the certification then declaration and then actual thesis parts introduction review of literature materials methods result discussion conclusion appendix all these are according to requirements of the uh, university to which we are going to submit our thesis just to understand how this include file works I will right click this introduction and open introduction and this is the file here the chapter specify that it's the chapter and centering specify that chapter name shall be centered and chapter name is introduction section is the section first section this is the section heading and then this is the text which we are going to write and this is citation okay, here I will show you another citation just click backslash then cite okay and you will get a list of all those citations which are there in your reference file and I am selecting this one double click and that citation will be there I will remove that star because I want that citation to get numbered okay. and this uh, begin figure and end figure is to include figure in that document okay we'll see all the format of the thesis now here that thesis format is there I will go to the uh, top this is the front cover and front cover it as per specified by the university and then this is the title page title page of the thesis it is uh, this is the title dummy title for the thesis and this is declaration of thesis submitted in partial fulfillment for the requirement of degree and all that information is there along with the institute and that and as we go down that dedication page is there certificate page is there then this is uh, this is approval for PhD approval page declaration by the candidate then uh, contents contents this is also automatically produced by the command uh, that is table of contents and then if you see the page numbers this is the front matter where page numbers are Roman and as we go this list of tables is also there list of figures is also there along with their page numbers and these are hyperlinks if we click there we will go to the page where that particular figure is there and uh, the header and footer we can appreciate this is the figure and the figures are also properly numbered their captions are also there all these things help you to get a very good thesis very well formatted thesis as per the requirement of the university within within few days and even if you want to add to it modify it it will get modified very easily you don't have to modify all those section numbers chapter numbers or page numbers or citation numbers and anything everything is automated for you by LaTeX and if you want to learn LaTeX then you can watch my videos I have given the link in the description and you can learn from me in my workshops thank you Thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, please click the like button and share this video with your friends to tell those what is the power of LaTeX. Thank you again.